Welcome to the Idaho Business Podcast, the only Idaho podcast focused on providing profits for Idaho people. If you love our state and love small business, you are in the right place. We interview local legends, learn business, and have way too much fun doing it. You're listening to the Idaho Business Podcast with your friend, host, and all-around great guy and owner of New Clean Commercial Cleaning, Spencer Ward. All right, everyone. Welcome back to another episode of the Idaho Business Podcast. I am here with you solo today. Uh, we'll have another guest uh, the following uh release wow launch release whatever you want to call it uh as always we are sponsored by fresh prep meals these guys are from burley all the way to idle falls and continuing to expand uh they've create fantastic menus for people who are trying to stay healthy but don't have time to prepare their meals and i'm telling you guys it's not boring salads and and just chicken and rice it is creative menus uh styled with the the the, the micros and macros that people need (coughs) excuse me and uh they have them delivered to you or you can pick them up at conveniently uh, located uh areas throughout uh those cities but if you go to the idaho business podcast.com and click on their logo or go to backslash uh, fresh prep meals you will get access to the promo code Idaho business. And as you sign up and you type in the Idaho business promo code, you're going to get your first meal for free and an additional free meal to give to whoever you want. That's just because you mentioned the Idaho business podcast in the way of the promo code. So give them a try today and start your healthy journey going forward. All right, everyone, I'm talking about something today that's been on my mind. And I'm sure it's been on many of our other minds uh, currently as well. Um, attrition rates, turnover rates. Um, for the most part, I'm, I'm guessing in the service industry specifically, and it could be in other industries, uh, turnover is higher than normal. Okay, uh, and it's it's interesting because uh, everyone needs employees right now. Everyone needs a good people to work for them. So I was thinking, as we you know continue to do business and as we continue to try to be successful, how are how do we try to how do we find success amongst uh, being shorthanded or amongst having a brand new team? You know, many of our our companies uh, locally within Idaho are maybe dealing with the fact that they have brand new staff and don't have many of their tenured uh, employees left anymore. And you're thinking, okay, I've got a lot of new people and I don't have any older people that kind of show them the ropes. How do I still be successful? And that's kind of something I've been thinking about and that's something I want to address today. Uh, number one, we've talked about core values until I've been blue in the face. But let's go over that one more time. It's, it's got to start there. Um, I'm constantly aggravating people on Facebook with my ad for new clean commercial cleaning. Uh, it's 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 to the point. It's got it's written with our core values in mind. Be honest, have fun, make money, and work together. And if you don't share those core values, you're probably not going to enjoy that app. But you know what? It's doing the, the thing that we want it to do. The people that get on there and say you're haters and you're this and that. Oh, discrimination. Okay, number one, they don't understand what those definitions are. Number two. They don't understand us. They don't understand our sense of humor. We're not purposely trying to be offensive. And uh, to our core value matches, we're not. And they get us. They want to apply. And we have better applicants and better employees because of it. So write your job ads accordingly to your uh, core values. And if you haven't had your core values yet, I'm going to give you a quick lowdown again how to, how to make that happen. How do, how, how do you know what your core values are? Okay, real quick way. Find the five people that are closest to you right now. Uh, family members, best friends, uh, spouses. And say, give me five words. Text this, Max, text this to everyone. Or you can do it. 
in uh, in single text just so they don't copy each other. Give me five words that describe me, at least five, uh, maybe maybe at least four. And then out of those five people you text, you combine all the results and see what is the common thread across the board. You know, that's what I did. That's how I found mine. And then I'm like, and once I read those, I'm like, yeah, these guys, they understand me. They get me. And that's exactly what my core values are. So use those to create your core values and don't be too lengthy with them. It's right, right to the point, just like mine. Be honest, have fun, make, uh, make money and work together. You know, you can, you can be, you can have some that say, be real, you know, let's be real with each other. That's a good one. Um, you know, you can be, you know, if, if your company is a different type of company and you don't like fun, you can say, be serious, whatever, whatever it is, but, uh, Go with what your core values are, okay? And live by those. Don't just put them as your company, uh, you know, core values, but you have to live them. If you don't live them, your employee is going to see that you're a fake and you want, you want to see that. But if they're your core values, you will live them, okay? So have those, find those core values out. Write the hiring ad accordingly to those core values. You can check mine out at newclean.com. Go to... Uh, uh, jobs open and you will find exactly what people are looking for uh, and, and you're going to see how we position ourselves because we're a fun loving company we like to enjoy each other and work hard together okay after that um, you make sure we're welcoming people uh, properly uh, number one number two make them feel part of the team um, how do you make them feel part of the team like right away because you got to think about it. this is a different circumstance than it was two years ago. Two years ago, we could get away with the lazy approach of saying, hey, okay, here's your, your shirt, your name badge. Go with Tina over there. She's going to train you. And, and maybe it still works today, but think of ways to make them feel a part of the team and loved. Make them feel the love. It's like a Jerry Maguire. I don't feel the love, Jerry. Make them feel the love. Okay. And this is something I've got to work on too within my company helping people feel the love, okay? Um, having their apparel, their, you know, their company shirt, their name tag, their cards, their business cards, their desk already set up for them. Uh, I think ICCU, I think uh, I have other friends have been there and I'm sure other uh, places, uh, maybe even Lookout Credit Union does the same thing. When new hires come on, they decorate their desk and they make it a big deal out of these people coming on board with them and really make them, feel special that first week and of course as they as they continue to work for them but helping them feel the love is huge guys um so help them to feel that right away uh another idea that i've brought up in the past is even sending something to their spouse thanking them for, for allowing them to come work with us for you for your company maybe it's a maybe it's a dinner for two uh and and a, and a movie pass you know something that's just like wow your company already sent us to the movies and to dinner you know, it's just something, something nice and sweet, okay? Some, something like that goes a long ways, you know, because you know the spouses make all the decisions. <laughs> so and have, have them on your side. You're going to have them, the, their, uh, their significant others on your side, okay? Let's move on to training, you know? If, what, what type of training program do you have on, on hand? Is it just fly by the, the seat of your, your, your pants or is it just off the cuff? Uh, Tina knows it. She'll t teach you. Well, how do you know that? Have you ever been, have you ever played that game? Uh, what's it called? The grapevine or the phone line where you sit in a circle and you tell the person right next to you a secret and then they have to pass it along. And by the time it gets back to you, it's something completely different, right? That's what happens with a verbal training method. Okay. You might tell the first person that you ever trained how to do it perfectly, but then it will get changed. It will get altered. It will be bastardized by the time you hear it again. So what do you need to do? Write it down. Write it down in a fun way and in a measurable way. Uh, in, our, in our business, we have everything, every task that our employees do. And then we have a, a column that says uh, trainer has to initial. And the, the new, new, the new uh, employee has to initial once they've proven that they can do that task successfully. 
And they first watch the trainer do it. And after the trainer does it, then they do it. So it's, they have a good example of how to do it. And then they keep going, moving forward. So that's something that's measurable. That's something that can be put down on paper. And you can literally hand that to them, email it to them, however you want to, to do it, make it so it's, they understand what training is going to be about, what they're going to be expect, what's going to be expected of them and how they can be successful. Okay. We even have a, a online dashboard where we created that they, when they are hired on, they create their username and password. They can go on anytime. And it literally says how to have a successful start, how to start like a rock star during your working week interview. Okay. Uh, there's videos of my goofy face on there. There's some videos, of how to videos of how to do each task from our staff on there. And it's using our core values. It's funny, but, but still gets the job done. Okay. There's ways to do it, guys. There's so many different ways to do it. And if you're, if you're thinking, oh, training's a son of a gun to do, okay, automate it. And this is how you automate it. Okay. Have an online system. Uh, even, even if it's down to having a paper that you have them sign both trainer and employee sign, and then they hand it back in. That's huge. Okay. Then they know, and you know, and the trainers kind of, their feet are held to the fire too, because if they're signing next to that task, they're, they're telling you that they know how to do it. And if they, you find out later on that, you know, they don't know how to fry French fries, right. Or they don't know how to clean a toilet, right. Or they, you know, don't know how to ent uh, do this en data entry, uh, right. You can go back to that trainer and say, Hey, you signify that they knew how to do this. Why? What's going on? Okay. So that's, that's a huge thing. So train them step by step. Then after you, they're trained, check and verify, check and verify. Um, saying, you know, always quiz them, you know, if, if you have questions, you know, help them understand things, you know, shadow them a little bit here and there. You know, don't, you know, you don't want to be overbearing and watch over their shoulder every two seconds. But it makes a huge difference if you can continue to check and verify that things are being done right. And especially if they're really the face of your company and they're out amongst all your customers and they're a waitress or a janitorial professional or, or, or uh, a sales professional, uh, they are the face of your company. And you want to make sure the message they are talking about is uh, representing you the right way. So after you check and verify, uh, schedule in, in kind of inspections of, of their work, you know, uh, have them, have them send you, uh, what, what's going on, what they what, what they've done, you know, inspect their, their work, if they're uh, cleaning staff or, or anything like that, just try to go through those different processes. And if you've noticed something that is, you know, a little off, you can always retrain and do it in a very positive way. You can attract more flies with uh honey and then you can with crap so uh, i don't know if that's the right saying but uh you understand what i'm saying <laughs> it might be the other way around but anyways you know what i'm saying be nice people like the honey they don't want to to be, to be dumped on which we talked about last last episode so retrain inspect check and verify and then just remember that these guys are the face of your company. And speaking of face of your company, you know, what better way to make that face look beautiful than to have them go to Sensations Spa located in Pocatello in Twin Falls. Uh, your employees can go in. You can tell them to go in, mention that they heard about us on the podcast. You can go in and get your first tanning for free. Go to the idahobusinesspodcast.com, click on their, on their logo and their link, tells you everything about them. And I'm telling you, there's no strings attached. But once you get in there, you're going to see that there's many other options you have there for your massages, your mani pedis, everything you need to feel and look good. So go give sensations a try. They are a sponsor of the Idaho Business Podcast. So in conclusion, you can still be successful with new staff. I'm telling you from firsthand experience, we are. I've, 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 Pretty much, I have all new staff, and our, our our attrition rate this year has been a lot higher than it ever has been. But you know what? Um, with these simple things that we're doing, it maybe it takes you a little bit more time as you're doing this. But this stuff, this scenario, you know, cross your fingers. This shouldn't last forever. What we're going through now should not last forever. But if you learn how to get through it now, you're going to be far ahead of your competition later on. 
So I'm telling you, do these small steps, get your core values in place, uh, welcome your employees properly and train them properly and have something automated that you can have as a standard of training people. And then remember to go back in and recheck things, go schedule inspections, do quality control, making sure that your clients are getting what you promised them that you'd be getting. So like always, go after it. Go conquer your day. Stay away from those negative Nancys. Misery loves companies. So stay away from those miserable people. Uh, go out there and have that attitude of gratitude and have fun. Enjoy your life. You only get this, you only get this time when you only, you only get one go around to this. So enjoy it. You know, obviously we want to make money. We want to enjoy our, uh, our lives and be able to have fun with our families with some little extra walking around money. But I'm telling you now, if you don't learn to be happy when you're poor, you're never going to be happy when you're rich. And that's true. So enjoy it. Until next time, adios and see you next time. Bye-bye. Congratulations on spending a couple of minutes getting a little bit smarter, having some fun, and supporting the Idaho business community. If you're feeling the love, make sure to subscribe, rate, and review on iTunes, Stitcher, or wherever you are.